Welcome to advanced option number three. This one, we're gonna be looking at the one arm pull up. With the one arm pull up, we're gonna be placing one hand onto the bar. We're gonna place the other hand on the band at different heights. The height is going to determine how hard and how easy this exercise is going to become. So to make it as easy as you possibly can, you're gonna to grip towards the top of the band. Now, as you pull, remember the band is going to stretch as well. So the harder you pull, the more this is going to pull down. But gripping it at the top means that it's going to be the easiest that this could possibly be. So we're gonna start by placing our hand at the very top of the band and the other hand, so my right arm, is gonna be the one that's doing the most work with the pulling. So to begin with, remember you're trying to do full range of motion. Be aware that the top end of this is not going to be possible. It's going to be very, very difficult to try to get that full range with a one hand pull up. So we're just gonna go as high as we possibly can with this. However, right hand is gonna grab the bar, left hand as high as we can. We're gonna to go to that absolute bottom dead hang position and pull. And come down. So we're going to go to the other side now. We're going to use the left hand on the bar. I'm going to grip the band at the very top and we're going to do the exact same thing. Now remember you're trying to grip at the same position as you did on the other side. So from here we're going to go to the dead hang position of the left arm and we pull and come down. You're always looking to work to the weakest side. So whatever your weakest arm and what that can do, you do with the strongest side. So for me, my left arm is my weakest side. Wherever I put my hand on the band here, this is where I put it on the other side when I'm doing the stronger side. Now the reason being that you don't want to have a bigger mismatch between your right and your left. So with my right, if I can do a pull up with my hand down here and I'm doing a lot harder work with my right arm and then when I have to go to my left I have to grip at the top. No, you don't want to do that. You want to start with the weak side. You start with your hand at wherever it goes and then you match that onto the other side. So the stronger side is never doing more than what the weaker side can do. So as you can see, we can gradually move towards doing a true one arm pull up by decreasing the amount that we use the band. And to do that, we change the distance of where our other hand is on the band. So if it's towards the top, we're making it easier. The further you get down, you're making it harder. If again, you can do this with the green band, you just put on the blue band. And then once you can do that, you go to the red band. So eventually we're trying to get to the point where we don't need any of the bands and we can do a true one arm pull up without the need of any other assistance. So the really, really great thing about this is that it is a unilateral exercise, which means we can have a look at what our left and what our right side is doing. And it means that we can fix the weaker side and we can look at trying to make that weaker side stronger to get closer to match the stronger side. One of the other things that we're doing is we're also going to be working our grip strength. So this is a, a small byproduct of this type of training, but you're gonna find that you're really gonna be gripping hard on the band to really try and help yourself pull up. So a little byproduct is that your grip strength is also gonna be working as well. On the flip side of this, it's a little bit more tricky to accurately gauge where the progress is happening in terms of where your hand is going on the band. Now you can mark the band, you could draw lines and make sure that the band is always in exactly the same position, always with the same uh, knot at the top, and you're always going to place your hand at the exact same position. And you know that when you're progressing, you're getting stronger, that your hand can go down those notches and down those lines. Also, functionally, in the real world, this is not going to be an exercise that you'll do much and you'll not really find it in parkour that much either. 
It doesn't mean that it shouldn't be done. It just means that it is something is a little bit more removed to what you would normally find when you're doing parkour and when you're doing actual functional movement. As I also mentioned earlier, it is very hard to get that top end range of motion when you're doing the one arm. So trying to get into the position where your forearm is straight is gonna be very, very difficult. And it's something that you want, if you can aim for it and you can get to it, then fantastic. That is where you can, you just keep going to that. But for most people getting a full range motion, one arm pull up is gonna be a very, very, very difficult thing to try and accomplish. So as you can see with the advanced option number three, this is a great way of getting to the point where we can iron out those inconsistencies between our weak and our strong side. It's a very scalable exercise as long as we gauge and measure it correctly, but this is an awesome advanced option for those that want to try to get their weaker side stronger.